I'm Pastor Steve, and it's Saturday night. I got to preach in the morning in, in two churches. Now, coming up tomorrow morning, I'm going to be using a scripture from Paul's second letter to the Corinthians. It's from 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 7, and it says, We have this treasure in earthen vessels in order that the transcendent power may belong to God is of God and not of us. We have this treasure in earthen vessels that the transcendent power is of God and not of us. What is this treasure? This treasure is the knowledge that we, and I mean we, I mean all of us, I mean all humanity, is created by and loved by God and accepted by God. I do not believe that our divisions that we now have, divisions between religions and di divisions between politics and divisions of all these varieties, I believe that the divisions are the problem and that we can believe, deeply believe, in a higher, transcendent, and powerful unity that is a unity of humanity that validates you, whomever and wherever you are, that empowers you to realize that you have the power to change your thought and your whatever you need to change in your life to optimize your context and that you have can use that power to liberate yourself from whatever the oppression is whatever it is that's gotcha now paul says we have this treasure in earthen vessels so tomorrow i'm going to bring an ostracon a a, a greek a greek vessel, an earthen vessel. This one dates to around 470 BC. I found it in a pile of junk that someone was gonna throw away. It, it's a beautiful attic red figure cup. It, it shows Ganymede, who is the cup bearer of Zeus. And I want to share this because this is what Paul says we have this treasure in, okay? And, and it's obviously a metaphor for this frail and broken body of ours, but it also is, is very clear testimony that Paul, his language, his orientation, his way of working was distinctly European in his orientation. Paul was coming at this from the Roman perspective, the Greco-Roman perspective. And his choice of, of, uh, of, of using the, that word to describe an earthen vessel that is a very specifically Hellenistic Greek word, I think is pretty good evidence of the Greco-Roman character of Paul. Now, we discussed this in great detail with respect to the origins of all kinds of problems that later emerged coming through U European culture. Structural racism, anti-Semitism, um, the, 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 the colonial mindset, slavery, all kinds of really negative things that came out of the European mindset of supremacy and that need to be addressed, need to be recognized as our faith moves forward and evolves into a time when we realize that, hey, we all got to work together. So thanks for watching this. Take a look at the website, pastorsteve.faith. If you can, share this video, subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much for watching.